and welcome or welcome back to Jen's Hangout. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you're returning, I love you guys so, so much. You know that. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything and you get to hang out with me and my woohoo craziness. Um, don't forget to say hi. How's it going? What is today? <laughs> Mask Monday. Whoop, whoop. So today I'm doing this Real Nature Lemon Face Mask that I got from Beauty and More with Renee. I'll have her channel linked. Um, so just making sure that it is a yeah, 10 to 15 minute mask. Okay, and then we're going to do some fun little questions. Just some 20 qu questions about my favorite things. Because why not? It's fun. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It smells like lemon. Oh, is she juicy? I think this is one of the Avon masks. And if you are interested, Renee sells Avon. So if you need Avon stuff of any kind, go check her out. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll get there eventually. This, I've had another mask by them. And they are very nice masks to wear. Everybody raves about the potato mask. I have not tried the potato mask. I guess one of these days I need to. Come on unfurl yourself there we go <sighs> gotta get it in the place okay now and i was gonna tell you guys don't be afraid like right now i'm gonna do it oh, don't be afraid to trim him to cut your mask to fit your face better to actually lay on your face because it's supposed to So, you know, just so that sits better. And, like, come in here, make the mouth open a little bit more. That's all I needed. Uh, just don't be afraid to go in and kind of, I could do here, but that doesn't bother me, so. Um, this smells like a cross between fresh lemons and lemon balm. And if you guys have ever smelled lemon pledge, you know, the dusting stuff, that's kind of what lemon balm smells like. Actually a lot like what uh, lemon balm smells like, but this is very fresh and vibrant and juicy and perfect for what I'm going to do. I also have on my under eyes, I have the Laneige, um, I'm all thumbs today, eye sleeping mask and my Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. I love these for really getting in there and hydrating my under eyes, especially you know, this, this, and this is no shade against mental health, but it's the only way I can really describe the weather here in Oregon in spring. It's bipolar. At one day, it's beautiful, sunny, 80 degrees. Well, I guess just the Pacific Northwest in general. It's beautiful, sunny, 80 degrees, gorgeous. You know, you're like, oh, this is a beautiful day. Yeah, you open up all the house and let the fresh air come in and the sunlight come in and just clear out all the yuck from winter, right? And then two days later, you have snow. Although I'm beginning to think Maine is almost like this because Alice, from Alice Lynn, I love being a Grammy. Well, it's, no, it's Alice, Alice Lynn Beauty and more now. Um, she sent me a picture the other day 
And her car was literally encased in, in like three, four feet of snow. It was bonkers. I was like, oh my, we get a lot of snow, but not that much snow. That's craziness. Okay. So I have just some random questions here that they found via the internet. And we're going to do those. If you don't know what Mask Monday is, Mask Monday is this huge open collab that, I mean, you don't have to be a beauty channel. You don't have to be any sort of channel. You could just do Mask Mondays and people would watch. Um, I mean, it's fun. It is really fun. It's a good way to just take 10 to 20 minutes to yourself. <coughs> so sorry. And just give yourself a little bit of love and a little bit of self-care, right? So, um, I have some masks on the way that I just ordered. I'm going to be doing, uh, like a week long series of all of these masks. Well, 10 days, cause it's 10 of each mask. So I want to see what, I think I'm going to do it in short form though, because I have other videos that I do other than my mask Mondays. So we'll see. We're going to kind of play it by ear, but I have all these masks coming because I wanted to see what a long period of time and it, not necessarily a long period of time, but what is 10 days going to do for your skin using the same face mask every day? Plus it's slow. It's going to slow me down and be like, okay, I'm going to take 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes to myself and just do this. I'll probably like, like I said, do it in short form. And, um, once I have a wound that's healing right now that they had to do a procedure on. And so I can't take a bath, but once I can, I think that's when I'll start it because it'll do, I'll do it as I'm getting into the bath. If that makes sense. Um, cause that's when I really relax and I can't double pamper a uh, bath and face mask. Who? Yeah, baby. Anyway, back to the, I am just ADHD strong today. Holy mackerel. Anyways, um, if you film your mask for mask Monday, right? It can be a hair mask, face mask, sheet mask. Um, lip mask, eye mask, hand mask, foot mask. I don't, I mean, they make ta-ta and booty masks. I don't recommend filming those. <laughs> Though, you might get in trouble. Um, but you film it, and I mean, it can just literally be, I'm going to use this mask today, then pause your video and then come back and say, this is, these are my thoughts about it. I mean, literally you don't have to do anything if you don't want to. Um, or you can do things like the questions, unboxings, uh, hauls. Uh, I'd recommend reading a book, but apparently YouTube has taken to censoring that and demonetizing people and taking channels down and I don't know about all that stuff, but anyway, um, you know, and you could do project pan stuff, whatever your heart desires. You could talk about knitting, crocheting, art, nails, it, the possibilities are literally endless. I mean, you could talk about cars while you're doing a face mask. Who cares? It's interesting, right? And it's 10, 15 minutes long. And then you film it. And then you put in your description, uh, hashtag mask Monday ladies and or mask Monday friends. I do both. And thank you, Lori Latimer for putting together the list that you do. Um, she puts playlists together for all of the mask Monday ladies. And, um, there you go. You're in like Flynn. Now that I'm like 10 minutes into my freaking video, <laughs> let's do what's your favorite food. My favorite food is anything Asian. Um, I'm allergic to coconut, so I can't do like curries and a lot of pads from Thai food. Um, because they use coconut milk, but if it doesn't have coconut milk in it, I'm all over it all over it. Asian food is my absolute favorite. What is my favorite my restaurant? Um, <sighs> uh, 
probably well okay my all-time favorite restaurant is this japanese restaurant that's in down in well there's one in downtown portland but there's another one not in downtown portland oregon by the way um and i'll never go there again because i will never go back to portland um so i guess my favorite restaurant is our local asian place here and it's really good um and that would be my favorite local cuisine as well. Um, what is my favorite takeout or delivery food? That would be my local Asian food restaurant because they deliver and do takeout. What's my favorite dessert? Pie. I am a pie fiend. I love all pies. They're so good. They're so good. You can just have so much variety. And they're not super heavy, right? Or my mom's pudding cake. Lemon or chocolate, either one. They're both delicious. And they're so good. Um, what's your favorite meal to cook at home? Probably, it's probably a tie between my Instapot um, barbecue chicken, which I think I have up on my recipes. I'll have to look. If not, I'll do it for whatever Wednesday because it's amazing and it's super easy. Or the Zuppa Tuscani soup from Olive Garden. I love making that at home because oh, it's so good. It's so good. And the sausage that I get from my local butcher is a messing. And that I do have a recipe for and a video up. Um, if you go to the recipes playlist, I'll link it up here. Um, I have that up up and it's so easy and it's so good um what's my favorite thing to bake oh i used to love to make oatmeal chocolate chip and oatmeal caramel chip cookies uh i guess that's probably still my fave what's my favorite cafe i think i mean coffee uh and i love all coffee <laughs> what's my favorite my favorite book of all time uh hmm probably it's actually a series and it's the montana series by tracy peterson uh it is takes place during the wagon train uh times and when they were migrating west and they settle in montana um, also her Alaska Yukon series is really good too. I highly recommend that. Um, what's your favorite movie genre and why comedy comedy or rom-coms still comedy, right? Because I love to freaking laugh because laughter is the best medicine. Um, what is my favorite childhood memory? Oh, I don't know. Um, either going to Disneyland when I was like 12 or 13, I can't remember. I think I was 12 and, um, it was their 35th, 35th anniversary. I just dated myself. Mom, if you're watching, tell me how old, it, how, how many years it was. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Um, I went on Splash Mountain tons of times. And, uh, oh, we went to Knott's Berry Farm during that trip, too. And that was a freaking blast. If you ever go to Knott's Berry Farm, and they still have it. I mean, granted, this was like 30 years ago, 30 plus years ago. Um, they had this ride called Bigfoot Rapids. And, oh, my gosh, it was so much fun. We just kept going on and on and on. There was Because we were there midweek, so there was nobody there. So we just kept, like, re-getting in line. It was so much fun. Um, and we got absolutely drenched and they have a sign out front that says you will get wet. You may get drenched. We got totally just sopped, but it was a lot of fun. Um, or when my grandparents took me to this lake that's up by my house now. Um, but we lived on the West side of the state at the time and, and it still is a thing there where the deer come and hang out 
in your campsites and you feed them grapes and stuff like that all the time. Um, what's your favorite way to spend a rainy day? Watching movies, having a great cup of tea or a great cup of coffee and just, or playing games with my family, which doesn't happen anymore. Um, just cause we're also busy and far apart and what's your favorite tra travel destination you've been to um oh that's going to be a toss-up between new orleans well new orleans or um, new york new york was pretty fun um, well, kind of, <laughs> it's complicated. The sites in New York were really cool. Um, I didn't get to see a lot of the things that I wanted to see, but the experience was still really cool. Um, I have a picture of the Statue of Liberty's butt because I thought it was funny. I'm 12. Give me a break. <laughs> um, what is your favorite season and why do you love it i love summer and winter um i love parts of fall and and spring the the non-rainy torrential parts um but i love summer because you go do outdoor summery things and it's beautiful and fresh and the air is just and and winter is the same same reason um because they have the great the best they're just great <laughs> mm, sorry what's your favorite board game or card game cards against humanity without a doubt cards against humanity um what's your favorite type of music and do you have a favorite song in that genre my favorite type of music is hard rock I know everybody's probably like, what? <laughs> yeah, I am a huge hard rock fan. My favorite band is Metallica and the song Unforgiven. Or, or, um, Master of Puppets. Either one. Because they're kind of tied. Um, what's your favorite hobby or pastime? Uh, I don't, well, probably ceramics. What's your favorite holiday and how do you typically celebrate it? Aha, uh -huh, that would be Treason Day. If you don't know what Treason Day is, it's the 4th of freaking July. Um, and why? Because it celebrates our country's independence. And how do I typically celebrate it? Um, pew pews in the woods. That's all I'll say about that. Uh, what's my favorite childhood cartoon or TV show? Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. I loved that show as a kid. <laughs> or DuckTales. What's your favorite type of art? Painting, sculpture, photography. Probably photography. I really do love painting, but I like photography because it's one of my hobbies and I've always been into it. It's really cool. Um... What's your favorite outdoor activity or sports? I love to go out and we go up in the woods and we go hiking around. Um, we are avid hunters. And so all the outdoorsy type stuff. But mine is probably fishing. What's your favorite comfort food? Chicken fried steak, homemade, mashed potatoes, and peas. Uh, what's your favorite app on your phone? Missed Play. Why? Because it pays me money <laughs> to play games and be useless. Um, what's your favorite place in my hometown? I don't have a hometown. We moved a lot. Um, what's your favorite way to relax and unwind after a long day? A hot bath. What's your favorite childhood game or toy? Um, 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe game would be Monopoly. I really like Monopoly. I get really into it, and like it's a it's a whole thing. What's your favorite historical era, and what fascinates you about it? I like a lot of historical eras, but probably um, that turn of the century, turn of the century, not our turn of the century, turn of the century, meaning the 1800s to the 1900s. Um, and what fascinates me about it? Honestly, it's the fashion and the innovativeness and all the inventions that came about during that time period. Um, what's your favorite season for fashion and what's your go-to outfit? Oh, that would be summer. <laughs> and it would be shorts and a tank top. Yep, that's my go-to outfit. Uh, what's your favorite way to exercise or stay active? Uh, swimming. I'm a fish. What's your favorite quote or saying? I don't know how many. What's your favorite fictional character and why do you admire them? Oh gosh, I don't know. I can't really answer that. Um, what's your, I have two more questions and then I'm all done. I've done more than 20. What's your favorite type of vehicle? That would be a 68 Chevy Camaro. Um, or like a 2015-ish era Ford Raptor. Uh, and then what's your favorite way to show appreciation or gratitude? I like to share my favorite things with people. And that can mean all kinds of different things. Um, uh, let me take this off. I just, I really enjoy sharing those things that I love with the people that I care about. So that's it. I hope you guys have a fantastic, wonderful, blessed week. Um, oh, thank you, Renee, for this wonderful mask. This was really, really nice. My face feels all missing now. Um, but blessings to y'all. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.